Right, okay, at the bottom, um, if you haven't added something to GitHub, and you'll know because you, have, you should have loads of like green icons and things uh, when it's added, there should be a thing down at the bottom saying add to source control. But if it isn't there, it should be under, uh, I'm sure I've seen might be under file add to source so it's under the file menu as well but i think they'd dump it down there so pick git so i clicked on it picked git yeah it'll make sure that everything's saved first so you have got different options you can use the jaw which is your um you've got access to that but github's a bit more and then you just say, right, which one do I want to publish to? So I pick GitHub. Now, if you're already signed into GitHub, it'll ask you for your username. Okay. And what channel you want to do. So you have to put your like your credentials in again. Um, and then it'll come up with a name for the project. And that's this bit here. So this is going to be um, demo. Demo. Um, examples. I don't can't remember whether GitHub likes spaces in names. It probably doesn't. So I'm gonna just gonna do that. And then you just you select either private or public. Private means you're the only ones that can see it. Public means it's sat on the web. So probably best if it's private. Uh, and then you should just be able to click. So you might have to say add account up here, or it might it might come up with a basic thing. So I'm just going to do publish, and then actually it'll chug away. There's a ton of things it has to like say, and then <clears throat> this is the Team Explorer is how you get back to this. And what you tend to do is you go on changes when you've made changes. Obviously this is a new new project so it's already got all that click on the little home thing go to sync and what you'll do is fetch and pull so when you've done some changes so let me just make some changes to show you that so if i just i'm going to go into the game i'm going to put the thing in the game so we have to go from the title screen so i'll, I'll just if i just do something so if i go back to team explore if i save that i know that's an error it doesn't really matter and I click on the home icon in Team Explorer. Let me lock that. And I go on changes. It'll identify what files have changed. And you can see in Solution Explorer um, that it puts little marks next to anything that's got things that need syncing to get up. Okay. So I don't know what that is. What's live share? I don't know where that window's gone from. Um, that's probably some sort of like weird team thing. Right, so when you're on changes, in order to do the commit, you've got to fill something in to say what it is. Testing, I'm going to call it. Um, and then you click commit. Okay, that hasn't committed anything. That's committed it locally. You need to push it. So don't like go, I'll log off and I'll go home and do work because you'll get yourself into a world of hurt. Like I've done a few times. So then you click on sync. You can build scripts so you can like run a script and it does all this. And then you must make sure, and you can see there's the one I've just done, and I need to push it. So I do push. And now when I look at that, that tick's gone, so I know that it's been done. Um, when you're doing it the other way, so when you get home, what you'll do is you'll load up your project. It won't be in sync. So you'll go straight to sync and you'll do a pull or a fetch. Sometimes you have to click the fetch and it'll show you what changes there are. And there might be loads if you've done loads of pushes, but it can automatically merge it all for you. You only have problems if you forget to save something and do a push and then you go and edit it at home and then you get two files that are out of sync and it doesn't know how to merge them in. So you end up like going, how do I do the changes? And it, it's really clever. It does a side by side thing and you can like elect. It looks at the difference. It say which ones do you want? But you don't really want to be going down that road because it starts getting messy.
Okay, so I'll just stop that there. So that's that's the basic Git thing. 